guys, so it's Friday and I am currently in my kitchen uh, making dinner, so I may be more of a voice and less of a face uh, because I realized I am rather crunched for time. Uh, tonight I had class and then I have a choir thing and then I have a karate thing and then after the karate thing I go back to the house of the person who was, who was hosting the choir thing to go to her Halloween party. So it's a little bit crazy and I realized I need to eat, especially because I'm sure tonight will involve some kind of drinking and food is really helpful in that regard. So I'm making pasta. Pasta and pesto. That might be backwards. But anyways, it should be fun and you get to see my kitchen, which is kind of cool. I know, uh, Libby, you texted me saying you missed me, and I miss you too. I miss all of you guys, especially the last two weeks were really sort of painful, what with midterms and everything, just because there was so much work to do, and it was stressful, to use a word I often uh, use. Um, mm -mm, not ready yet. Uh, sorry. I did end up, I uh, got my first midterm back today. I got a B on it. It was an essay midterm, which is good. Like, not enthusiastically amazing, but... I would definitely not complain about a B, so I won't. <laughs> I will just do better the next time. And then I have another quiz on Monday and then another one on Friday. Uh, so those aren't quite as big as midterms, but they're still, you know, things I have to do. Other than that, it's been good. We had a book fair, which was super exciting. So I got, I bought four books for a total of, what, $7? And I got uh, an Arthurian book by uh, Mary Stewart, which whom I adore as an author. I don't know if you've read her. Uh, that's It's called The Crystal Cave, and I got it. Oh, crap. Shit. Sorry, my pasta almost boiled over. Um, I got that for a dollar in a hardback version, which was really nice. So, you know. And then today I went back and the book fair was over, but they had uh, leftovers. Uh, so I got free books, which is always really exciting. <laughs> I pretty much just grabbed what was there that looked sort of halfway decent. So I'm excited. Lots of new stuff. And I know NaNoWriMo is coming up soon, and my roommate and I are going to have fun with that. So that's pretty much been my week. Nothing incredibly crazy. I had a Chinese presentation. Mm. And that went really well. It was all about my family, and because that's pretty much all we've learned, you know, in the first couple of weeks of learning a language, you, you learn how to say, this is my mom, this is my dad, they, they work, we like to insert blank here, we have a dog, we do not have dogs, stuff like that. But it was still lots of fun, uh, and it felt really cool. When he writes the characters on the boards and you're like, oh my god, those actually mean something, it's a pretty ecstatic feeling. Anyways, so I want to ask if you guys are doing well. I'm, I'm sure you are. Uh, I haven't finished The Casual Vacancy. I haven't really even started it because I was in the middle of another book when I got it, and I'm trying not to read multiple books at once, and then midterm week happened. So then I didn't read anything, and now I'm back, and I'm halfway through my other book, and part of me really wants to read The Casual Vacancy, and then the other half is like, no, finish your book. So I'm sort of torn. And what? Any advice? Which one should I read? Now that is hot cocoa because it's not actually cold out, but I was craving chocolate and I didn't have any in my cupboard because I need to go shop, uh, grocery shopping. So I was like, I'll make hot chocolate. Mm, perfect. Now I just need to drain it. I'm sorry, this is such a weird, disjointed video that you're getting of me doing like 50 things at once. So the one major drawback to my week, it's it was really... Uh, two weeks ago now, is RBC decided to hold my check for 15 business days, which they can do, which is incredibly frustrating. And I was, I was at the, you know, bank and I was like, I need that money to pay my rent by the end of the month, which, you know, is in 10 days or something like that. And so they made an exception to release the, you know, my rent money. But now I'm on like a budget until the rest of my money comes in. It's like not having a cash flow. It's really annoying. I have to think about what I buy. Not that I don't do that anyways, but you know what I mean. Mm. So now I'm eating my dinner. Oh, I apologize for that as well because it's not going to be very attractive. Um, 
So here you guys are getting a whopper of a storm for um, uh, my mom sent me an article in which they referred to the hurricane as the Frankenstorm. I don't know if people are actually doing that, but it looks like you're going to be in for a really rainy couple of days. We might even get some of the side effects up here. I know we did last year with, um, oh my god, I don't remember the name of the hurricane that came up the coast last year. But uh, I remember that it was really stormy and my parents, when they drove down from dropping me off at school, they uh, took the inner route closer so that they were further away from the coast. Anyways, so that should be fun. I hope you guys have all stocked up. I hope nobody floods or anything because that would be the absolute worst. And so uh, nobody die, nobody flood, and I hope your power doesn't get out, go out in a really inopportune moment because that has happened before and it sucks. Anyways, I think that's all I'm going to say in this video. Again, I apologize for like being a slob and cooking and not paying attention. Uh, but know that I love you guys, and Libby, you are totally welcome to come visit in January. It will be really cold, but you can always borrow my down coat. I have two. And you can borrow my really thick one if you want. Um, and you're totally welcome. January's a good month because it's the start of the semester, and everything's really nice at the start. <laughs> February's the second month because that's midterms. Uh, so, feel free. Anna, you should uh, get your passport so that you can come visit me, preferably with Libby. I mean, not that I don't want you to... But yeah. fail anyways I want you here in any way you can get here uh, so <laughs> car bus train ride whatever as long as you get your passport first because I don't think they'd appreciate it if you didn't have your passport anyways so that is all I'm gonna say for right now because I really do actually need to finish my dinner and go and I just I love you and knowing that you guys are there even though I'm don't always like talk to you when I'm like really stressed out is the best because I just know you're there and that you are amazing. So yeah, that's this video and I will cut out all of the bits in the middle that you won't see, but that would have been me almost having a kitchen disaster and then moving my plate and stuff and dropping everything. So you won't see that, but know it happened and smile. <laughs>